Hello everybody. This is my tutorial to show how to make a stop motion armature. And the first step is basically to do concept drawing. You don't have to do the concept drawing all the time, but I'm going to just start with the basics of it all. And a lot of people do, so you can get ideas. It's like, to me, a concept drawing can be something sort of like a, s a movie script where you could always add and take out when you start on the actual project. But here you'll get a sense of what to do and it'll map out your character. And you'll get ideas from drawing, so it's always a good thing. But anyways, I'm going to just start with some basic um, um, shaping of the head. I like to also, when I do my characters in stop motion, after I do the script for the movie, I'll maybe make them a background in, in case they're a new character. But if they're one I'm really f familiar with, I really don't do that. But here, um, if you guys want to know more about the background of this character before he shows up on film or in the stop motion movie, so let me know. Do the backstory. You know, it has to do with their culture and where they're from and things like that. What kind of if if they're a, if they're a warrior of sorts, they would have what kind of how would the weapons look? What kind of weapons are they? Kind of primitive, advanced? Do they keep up with technology? Things like that. But for this character, he basically has you know he's a modern aged guy. He doesn't, or he's not really a human, but he he um he keeps up, but he still is a uh, tradition presented in the way he looks and things like that. You'll see. Anyways, this is and and the good thing about concept art, you know what to if you don't have the materials, you know what to buy things like that, and I won't be putting any color into this. Maybe um. I'll just I'll know what the colors are when I get the fabric and I start to paint the I'm going to give him a sword. I'm going to give him a sword. You'll see how it looks here in a while cuz I just want him with a sword. You might need it in the movie. So anyways, um you know for the sword or whatever clay I'm going to use and get painted um I'm going to you know, whenever I sculpt out a weapon or a piece of armor, whatever it may be, I'll have, I'll know what color to color it when I, um, when I'm with the final product. And, uh, and that's the thing with concept art drawings. Sometimes it's up to you. It's completely up to you. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to get into really huge detail go right you know it's probably best and then if you want to get into more make it more specific then you could I mean then you could also whatever you like you know color with um, colored pencils paint whatever you prefer and and you know especially if you're working with a team you'd probably want to do that but since this is my own movie I'm gonna do it by myself I know what colors I'm gonna involve in it so I'm not gonna really and I'm not in the point of this demonstration also is to kind of show the process not in a fast way but in a way where it's like with this concept drawing it's 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 a good stepping stone to what we need to do and it maps out um the character and it gets straight to the point and the drawing itself won't be too like some of my other drawings where I spend a lot of time on and it's more about the drawing it's not going to be like that either you know no no background or anything like that I'm basically just going to draw him and you'll you, you'll see a basic image not basic but you'll see here how he looks and from there on you're just going to have to learn who he is in the movie but you know this is just something you know to kind of have reference to when you're doing the armature at the same time this is 
you know, it's 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 fun process drawing, and then you you come up with new things. Like I said, it's like the script of the movie. Some of it will be used, some of it may not, and of course you might even add things. You know, while you're making the movie, you're like, you know, he might need, I don't know, different. You might he you you never know. He might need gloves or something. You know, here I'm not gonna really put him with gloves. I didn't. You know, that was in my mind when I thought of this character. But, you know, he, he's he's going to be well equipped regardless. He, you know, he's he's going to look cool. And um, he's a new character. He's not in any of the um, e-books I have in this series. The Primal Image series. And this is going to be the first movie, actually. Uh, I've been planning on doing one for such a long time. And has been putting it to the side. And I think it's going to be made. It's going to be um, really important. I've never done that for any of my other stop motion movies. That's on my other channel. I'll put the link in the bottom. I just kind of want to start fresh. You know, probably just this channel will probably be only committed to the Primal Image series. Maybe some other stuff. I don't know. But, you know, I mean, that's how I learned is um, just kind of doing, figuring things works, what doesn't. Um, this is... And I'm hoping, and I hope um, this will help people learn as well. And whoever's interested, I'm going to, along the way, I'll show you what different kinds of clay I use. I can mention some now. I use Magic Sculpt, and um, there's Sculpey, the oven bake clay. And then I get Edra, you know, the the Magic Sculpt is, actu is actually air dried too, but... When I do the actual movie, I mean the actual armature, you'll see what I'm how I'm making that exactly and you know things like that and once again here I am just kind of drawing I'm just kind of see come up with ideas and what I know what well and it, it's pretty good reminders here I am drawing the tail and some you know I'm pretty sure when I do an armature like this I won't forget but sometimes uh, depending on what character it is I might forget a little important detail like that and that's another good thing about concept drawings it really reminds you like oh okay there you go and it's good just to have a complete character because you're going to be really busy with everything else like backgrounds and, and other characters but yeah this is basically um what i wanted him to kind of look like you know i'm using two different erasers like i said i'm not doing too much detail i'm not going to Sometimes when I'm drawing, I use two different pencils. I think I already used both of them. You know, just if I want to kind of put a little bit more detail on something, I'll use the, um, like, I don't know, like a 4B or whatever, lead, instead of, you know, I'm just using a regular pencil, you know, number two pencil here. But everyone has their ways of doing things on these. So, you know, it's it's just however you, you, you're comfortable with drawing. You know, I've been drawing for a while, a long time, so I just use whatever I'm comfortable with to kind of get the idea down right away you know if I was to try other things which is good good it's always good trying new mediums but to say if I kind of start using colored pencils which I haven't used too often then you know I'd be more trying to figure it out you know and teaching myself how to use the, the different kind of pencils but here you know it's just do with what you know cut long process the, the work's going to come in when you do the actual armature that's why I just spent about 15 to 20 minutes or I don't know uh, I, I re really didn't keep count I cut off some of this video so it's not it's full length and things like that so it, yeah a good 15 minutes on this <coughs> and um you know and then I, I should have probably done it I just thought of it now while doing well going over it you know it's like another good thing is if if he has scars or something you know it's definitely just draw him in you know it, make it obvious that he has scars you'll know to put that in in the uh in the uh on the armature this character ain't gonna is not gonna have scars but the same you know it's just something i thought of maybe i should have like kind of like jewel made a little one on his arm or something, just for the sake of this video because you m you may forget things like that when you're doing the the armature. Yeah, I, I didn't keep up with the shading at all. I just usually I put a lot of shading in my characters, but here I just kind of wanted a real general concept of the guy. And um, 
the the camera died so i drew a back for him i'm just gonna show you the back sorry about the lighting it i i, I turned off all my lights and everything when i you know when i noticed the camera was off i was you know it made a sound like last minute but it cut off right in the middle of the drawing and here's the finished drawing so this is what we're going to use for the character there's his armor and it's disappointing because i wanted to show how i came up with like those um those orbs on his armor you know it's part of his culture so to speak anyways that's it i hope you guys keep up with these videos like i said this is new my new channel i'm just starting things fresh uh i was thinking of just continuing on to making some stop motion animations on my other channel which are all stop motion but here i'm like let's do things a little differently i'll just do behind the scenes show how it's made hopefully it shows people how the process is